off the hitters. The 2-2 to Barry. On the ground, another high chopper to Nes, but this time it's short. Funny bounce. He picks it up. The throw is in time. What a pick from Matt Warkington at first base. Out number two. All around. Great defensive play there. Hey, hey, Larks fans. I'm Cody Shook alongside Jacob Nesbitt here, and we're meeting another Larks player. And this is a shortstop here for the Larks, and he goes to the University of Arkansas. What's it like there? University of Arkansas is great uh, academically, athletically. It's just a great um, atmosphere. Uh, being there is like nowhere else for me. Um, the fans, the community, and all of that is just great. Um, I've met my best friends there, and it's just something that I've always dreamed of. What's it like playing Division One baseball on the biggest stage? It's pretty cool. I mean, I got registered this year, so I didn't, I didn't get to play, but I got to practice, be around the guys, and be at the games with everybody. And it's like, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. This is like pretty close to what it's like at Arkansas. Honestly, the fans are die hard, and it's really cool. It's a really cool deal. All right, so yeah, you mentioned playing here, and you didn't get to play at Arkansas, but you got to go to all the games, stuff like that. What's it like playing in front of these home fans every day? It's absolutely incredible. Fans here are second to none. You know, they're here, and they're not just here for the festivities. They're here to watch the game and be, you know, they're they're into it. They're, they know what's going on, and they're they're with you every step of the way. All right, so you're the shortstop here for the Larks, and you've really grinded this season. You've played almost every single game. What's that been like on your body and on your mind? It's pretty tough. You know, it's uh, mentally and physically, they're both, it's really tough. We played, what, 33 games, something like that, and um, it put, takes a toll on your body, but the mental side of it is even more so, you know. Showing up every day, even if your body doesn't feel good, you kind of just have to put yourself through it and, and have a good mindset, and that's kind of what it takes. What's your go-to food right before a game or a morning to really get your mind going, your body right? I eat uh, tuna sandwiches right before I head to the field. So, it's, I mean, lunchtime's right before we have to be here. So I eat a tuna sandwich, and I drink a bang. A bang is a, it's like an energy drink, which you get at GNC, and I drink that right before I come to the field. <laughs> all right, all right. So on your off days here in the Northwoods League or back at school, what do you really like to do? I love the fish. I really love the fish. It's something I've done since I was a kid. My grandparents own a lake house in East Texas, and I used to always bass fish here, there. And now when I got here, I walleye fish. So I love the fish, uh, watch movies, just relax, you know. So you're from Texas. What is a lot of sports teams there? Yeah. Major League and college. What's, what's your favorite? What's your go-to? The Dallas Cowboys, like hands down, I'm a die-hard Cowboys fan. They can change my mood, like in the, <laughs> like with a flip of a switch. Um, but yeah, those are my guys. They die-hard Cowboy fans. How do you think they're gonna do this year? Oh, I always have high hopes for the Cowboys, you know. But they always let me down somehow. <laughs> Hopefully, this is not the, okay. not the same. Okay, okay. All right. So, what is your favorite music? What gets you in the mood, like right before you go into a game or a bus trip, something like that? I'm always listening to country music. Um, it kind of just keeps me calm. But right before I go play a game, it's different. I, I listen to rap, I listen to Drake or uh, Eminem. Eminem's a go-to, for okay. sure. Okay, I like that. All right, so what has been a really memorable moment so far this year? We're at the halfway point of the season. Yep. What has really stuck out in your mind? Uh, a very memorable moment actually happened yesterday. Jeff Lindgren was his last game here as a Lark, and he pitched eight innings, I think it was, and just had, was lights out. We ended up winning three to two. It was a high-intensity game, and it was fun going out there and playing against Eau Claire and put on a show for these fans. All right, what would you like to say to the fans as we wrap up this interview? Is there anything you would like to say to the Bismarck Lark fans? I mean, we're coming for that thing, you know? We're out here and we're grinding every day and we're, we're winning games and we're trying, to, we're trying to go for that whole thing this year. All right, well that'll do it for Jacob Nesbitt. Catch us next time when we meet another player.